Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. Kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe on my YouTube channel. I hope na yung mga math videos ko ay makakatulong sa inyo in solving word problems or mathematical problems. And maraming salamat po sa inyong suporta. And sana maging masaya lang tayo in solving those kind of problems. Again, salamat and God bless. Okay, so let's start with item number one. In item number one, sabi dito, how many ten thousands? So, ito yung tanong sa atin. How many ten thousands are there in 2,234,188? So, hiningi dito kung ilang, ilang pirasong ten thousands na meron tayo. So, basically, you will have 2,234,188. Be divided by 10,000. Kasi yun ang tinatanong sa atin eh. So, when you will you divide these numbers or this number by 10,000, the answer is just 223.4188. And since hiningi 10,000, itong whole number lang kukunin natin. Therefore, for item number 1 in the easy round is simply there are 223 10,000s. So reveal natin yung sagot natin dito. Okay, that's correct. 223 pieces of 10,000s. Okay, for item number 2, ito yung problem natin. Anna's house is the 5th from one end of the street and 8th from the other end. How many houses are there along the street. So, ang tinatanong dito, pang ilang bahay lahat ang meron sa isang street na kasama yung bahay ni Anna. So, ang clue dito, yung placement ng bahay niya from two ends. So, you can do it mentally, pero pwede rin naman mag-sketch. O, papaito sa inyo dito yung pag sketch O, yung mas maintindihan nyo. Treat natin ito bilang first end. Sabi, Anna's house is fifth from one end of the street. So, from this end of the street, pang lima raw, mag-drawing tayo ng limang bahay. So, okay. Fourth and fifth. So, ito yung bahay ni Anna. Pang lima mula sa unang end. And on the other end, sabi naman, sa kabila, ito yung pang walo. So, ito yung pang eighth. Fifth, and 8th mula rito so ibig sabihin kung pang 8th na to magdodrawin na lang tayo ng pito sa dalawa tatlo apat lima anim pito so medyo malayo na konti pero ito yung pang walo so ang gagawin nyo lang dito bibilangin nyo na lang kung ilang pirasong bahay ang meron so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 houses sa street na meron sa kinabibilangan ni Anna. Pero, paano ba siya isolve mentally? Um, yung isa ay 5th. Ibig sabihin may limang bahay. Yung sa kabila naman ay 8th. So, ang gagawin nyo dito, a-add nyo lang siya. So, you have 5 plus 8 which is 13. Mag-minus ka lang ng 1. Bakit? Hindi kasi pwede maging dalawa yung bahay ni Anna kasi iisa lang ang bahay niya. So, ang gagawin dito, the answer is just 12. That, that's it. That's it. Ganun na kasimple yung, ano, yung item number 2 natin. Mukha lang siya mahirap kasi um, medyo tricky yung problem natin. Let's reveal the answer. And the answer is 12. Now, let's go with item number 3. The base of an isosceles triangle is 10 centimeters and one of its legs is 18 centimeters. What is the perimeter? So, ang hinihingi rito ay yung perimeter ng isosceles triangle. By the way, when you say isosceles triangle, it is a triangle with two equal sides. So, paano ba yung niyan? Parang ganito yung visualize niya. Okay, Dawin natin na maayos. Isosceles triangle. Yan. 
At hindi natukoy natin na congruent sides in dalawa. So, ang tawag dyan ay legs. So, sabi dyan, the base of an isosceles triangle is 10 centimeters. Ito yung base niya. 10 centimeters. And one of its legs is 18 centimeters. So, sa definition natin, isosceles triangle has two equal sides. So, therefore, yung legs niya ay equal. Therefore, this one is also 18 centimeters. And remember, sabi dito, what is the perimeter? The perimeter of an isosceles triangle is simply S plus S plus S. So, nga nyo lang, add nyo lang sila. So, P is equal to 18 plus 18 plus 10. Therefore, the answer is simply 46 centimeters. So, this is the answer for item number 3. Reveal natin yung sagot. Okay, 46 centimeters. That's it. Okay na? So, let's go with item number 4. In item number 4, what number is 24 less than the sum of 50 and 50, 15? In this kind of problem, marami nagkakamali dyan. Kahit simple nga na lang, pagkakamali lang. Dapat accurate tayo dito. So, ang technique dito is, dapat meron kang tamang arrangement. So, since sinabi nito less than, di ba sinabing less than, pag in-arrange nyo yan, itong part na to, ilagay nyo sa dulo. Uunahin nyo to. So, you will have this kind of expression as 50 plus 15. And then, since sabi dyan, 27 less than the sum of 50 and 15. So, magma-minus ka lang dito ng 27. Add me 50, you will get 65 minus 27. And the answer is just 38. This is the answer for item number 4. So, reveal natin. Okay, 38 is the answer. Okay na? So, let's go with item number 5. Arnold can walk 19.5 kilometers in 3 hours. How many kilometers can we walk in 4 hours? So, medyo ano, hindi, parang hindi connected yung problem kasi we and then si Arnold yung pinaka-subject sa unahan. Pero, sagutan pa rin natin. So, ang gagawin mo rin dito, kung mapansin mo, sabi, 19.5 in 3 hours. So, ang kailangan mo lang dito, mag-add ka lang ng 1 hour or ng rate niya na 1 hour per hour dito sa 3 hours para maging 4 hours siya. So, you will do 19.5 divided by 3. And the answer here is 6.5. So, gagawin mo lang for you to get the number of kilometers in 4 hours so, you will do 19.5 plus 6.5. And the answer is simply 0. This is 6, 1, 26. So, you will have here 26 kilometers. So, that is the answer for the last item in number 5. Na meron tayo. Reveal natin yung sagot natin if ours is correct. So, that is the correct answer. 26 kilometers. So, I have discussed five different questions from MTOP MMC division round of grade 6. Kung meron kayo mas madaling way, you can comment down sa ating comment section. And salamat sa inyong panonood. Don't forget to like, subscribe on my YouTube channel. Thank you.